Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Coreo. My name is Bharat Kumar. I'm a computer science engineer and an aspiring data scientist. I make videos related to the Python, machine learning, deep learning, and data science, etc. This video is all about an introduction course to the Python programming language. So let's see what I'm going to cover in this specific video. Alright guys, let's begin. Python course structure. It contains eight parts. From the part one to the part four, it is basic Python, and from the part five to the part eight, it is advanced Python. Along with these eight parts, I'm going to give you five projects in this entire course. So let's see each part individually. Python to Python. In the part one, we'll see that what is Python, Python history and features, and then installing Python and setting up the development environment. After that, running Python programs using an IDE or command line. IDE means Integrated Development Environment, and then setting up the Jupyter Notebook environment. It is known as IDE, right? And then we have part number two, Python basics. So let's begin part number two with five basic functions: print, type, ID, length, and input functions. So after the completion of these five functions, we begin with the concepts of variables, and then packing and unpacking variables, expressions, statements, comments, escaping characters, data types, casting, operators, strings, string method, string characters, control statements, break continuous and pass statements, and then loops. So the concepts which are covered in this part number two. With the help of these concepts, I am going to create project number one, which is pig game on if else and loops. Part number three, functions and modules. In the part number three, we will see that how to create and how to call functions, function parameters and return values and nested functions, modules and importing in Python using built-in modules and creating custom modules and built-in functions. So with the help of these concepts, I am going to create project number two, tabled math challenge on functions. And then we have part number four. Data structures. In the part number four, we'll see that what is list, list methods, slicing, indexing, and iterating. And then we have tuples, sets, set methods, dictionaries, dictionary methods, list comprehensions, and we have finally dictionary comprehensions. So I'll pick this dictionary concepts to create project number three, which is known as word dictionary, right? So up to part number four and project number three, your basic Python will be finished. Part number five, file handling. In the part five, we'll see that how to read and how to write files, and file modes, and handling exceptions, and working with CSV and JSON files. So after the completion of part number five, we'll begin with the project number four, creating file manager. And then we have part number six, object-oriented programming. Oops. In the part number six, we'll see that what is classes and what is object and what are instances. And then we'll begin with the inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, and abstraction. And then finally we have pickling and unpickling. So the concepts which are covered in this part number six, I'm going to create project number five, banking system using groups concepts. Part seven, exception handling. In the part seven, we'll see that handling and rising exceptions using try except blocks and handling specific exceptions and clean up actions with final blocks. And then we have finally part number eight, which is the final part in this entire course, functional programming. In the part eight, we'll see that lambda functions, map function, filter function, and reduce functions. So up to part number eight, your Python course will be finished. And after the part number eight, I'm going to teach you most asked and important programs for interview preparation. And then I will teach you how to prepare for the Python developer interviews and resume building, and then job applying. Job applying on the various platforms like LinkedIn, Naukri, Indeed, etc. And then the duration of the course is up to two to three months. Finally, you are finished. 